Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. I know I've been gone for about two weeks, but about two weeks ago I got really sick with the flu and I was in bed for about a week, just me and my dog Riley, and I didn't do much. I just laid around and waited for the flu to pass. And then I took a few days off to go see my brother in LA. I haven't seen him for about two years, so we had some catching up to do. So here I am, I'm back tonight, I'm gonna cook for you. As a matter of fact, one of my friends a girl named Blue over at White Witch Wears. She's been a little bit under the weather as well. And she had a little bit of a car accident, so she's not feeling too good and she's recuperating. And I told her tonight I would cook for her. Okay, so tonight I'm gonna to be making pancakes, but they're not the regular kind of pancakes you might think. They're not breakfast pancakes. Tonight I'm gonna to be making Korean pancakes. They're called pajun, and they're a banchan, or a side dish in Korea. Although if you make them big enough and thick enough, they can be a main course. I'm gonna make three different kinds of pajan tonight. I'm gonna to make standard green onion pajan. I'm going to make heimul pajan, which is a seafood pancake. And then I'm gonna make kimchi jjan, or buchimge, which is a Korean pancake with kimchi and pork sausage. All three are very easy to make, high protein and delicious meals. Let's get going as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, the first thing we need to do to make Korean pancakes, pajun, is we need to make the batter. And this is very simple to do. What I have here is a combination of regular flour and rice flour. And I just whisk through this lightly to mix it up. Now, okay. to this, I add some beaten eggs. Okay. There are many different variations to this recipe for this batter. But I'm just going to use a simple one that I've been using for a long time. The directions for it will be on my blog, the ingredients and directions. Some ice cold water. You have to have ice cold water to make this batter. Add a little more water. Uh, okay. There we go. And it's starting to loosen up a bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt and sesame seeds. Okay. Because you need the salt. And the sesame seeds just add some texture and some flavor. And a little more water. Okay. Get this batter right where I need it to be. And to that, I'm also going to add some garlic that I sauteed in a frying pan and browned it up. And after I browned it up, I added some Korean gokchugang, Korean chili paste. So now I'm going to mix this up into the consistency that I want it, and I'll be right okay. back. Okay. My batter is done. And it has a consistency just a little bit thinner than regular pancake batter. And to this, I'm going to add scallions. Okay, the green and white parts of the scallion. Okay, I take the white parts and I cut them in half to make them easier to work with. And I'm going to mix these scallions into this batter. And then I'm going to let this batter stand for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, here it is. Korean pajun batter. It's been sitting here for about 15 minutes. Thoroughly mixed. The onions are getting soft in there. And it's about time to start making some pancakes. So let's get going. Okay, just testing the pan hot enough with a little bit of the batter. And let's make a standard Korean pajun. Korean onion pancake. Just take a little of the batter. Drop it in the center. Spread those onions. Okay. Just a little bit more. I like mine a little bit thick. Okay. There we go. Just spread it out in the oil. And that's basically it. This is the standard Korean pajun. I'm going to put some chili in the middle. I'm going to put chili in the middle of all the recipes I do tonight. 
with these pancakes. Nice little decoration. There we go. Red chili, green chili, it really doesn't matter. All right. And we cook this on a medium high until it gets golden brown on one side. And then we flip it over to the other side. Okay, guys. Now, depending on the size of the pan you use and how much batter you use, it could take anywhere from six to eight minutes per side to get the pancake golden brown. And it can also take as much as 15 minutes to get the pancake golden brown. So I check underneath, and there it is, nice and golden brown. And bam! I flip that over, and it's going to take another seven, eight minutes to get golden brown on the other side, and I'm going to plate that one, and then we're going to make another pancake. We're going to make a hamel pajan, which is a vegetable and seafood pancake. Okay, so, there's our first pancake, a regular Korean pajan, green onion pancake with some chilies. The onions got nice and caramelized and nice and golden brown, and I'm going to plate this puppy, and then I'm going to make the second pancake. Okay. This second Korean pancake recipe is called Heimul Pajun. And it's a Korean green onion pancake with the addition of seafood. There we go. I lay the batter in. Spread those onions and put the batter. There we go. Perfect circle. I reduce the heat. And I have here some seafood mix, some squid, some mussel, some oyster, some clam, calamari. Okay. You could buy this all separate, but I just bought a bag of seafood mix. When I make this, I make sure that the seafood mix that I buy doesn't have surimi in it. I don't need surimi. If I want surimi, I'll buy surimi. Okay. Now this is squid, clam, mussel, oyster, some baby shrimp, calamari, okay? There we go. So this is a basic vegetable pajun with seafood added. Now, once that's added, I turn the heat back up to a medium okay, or medium high. And for this particular recipe, I could coat the top with a little bit of the batter. Just take a little bit of the batter and coat a little bit extra. That'll hold the seafood down. And also, for a little color, a little texture, a little flavor, some beaten egg. Okay. There we go. Just another shot of protein to go with it. It helps keep the seafood onto the pancake. All right, the seafood pancake is starting to set and get golden brown around the sides. And I put some red chili pepper in the center. And I'm going to get ready to flip this one over in a couple of minutes. Okay, here's the Hamel Pajun, the seafood pancake. I've just flipped it over and you can hear it, the crispiness. And what makes this pancake so crispy ooh, ooh, is the addition of the rice flour. Now, if you don't want to use rice flour, you could use cornstarch. Oh, this looks delicious. Oh, yeah. Okay. But what makes the crispy surface and the crispy sides that you hear me hitting on is the addition of the rice flour. If you don't like rice flour, you can use cornstarch and you'll have a nice crispy pancake. This pancake is going to be about twice the thickness of the original uh, original green onion pajun that I made, the first one, but it's going to be delicious, so hang on tight. Okay, guys, there's pajun number two. Okay, hamel pajun. Green onions with seafood and red chilies. Now let's move on to a third pancake, kimchi jun or buchim ge. Okay guys, the third pancake of the night is called buchim ge or kimchi jun. 
It's a Korean green onion pancake with the addition of kimchi in the batter. And in it goes. See how quickly it flattens out and to that we're going to add some pork sausage. This is a hot and spicy French andouille sausage that my local butcher makes and the hot and spicy will complement the garlic and the pepper of the kimchi and complement the fact that Koreans like spicy food. So here we go with the andouille. This is going to be a very hot pancake. Okay, so there we go. Andouille sausage. This is going to be a very thick pancake. I happen to like my jun thick. Okay. The prefix pa in pa jun stands for onion. Pa onion, like jukpa kimchi. Jun. G-O-G-E-O-J-E-O-N stands for food, pancake, pachun, onion pancake. There we go. I turn up the heat a little bit. I'll get that golden on one side, and then I'll turn it over. And we'll have a quick review of the three pachun pancakes that I've made tonight. Okay, guys. There's our third pancake for the night. Buchim gay, or... Kimchi jun, red chili pepper, green onion, pork sausage, and kimchi. It's going to be delicious. Okay, guys, so here we go. Standard Korean pajun, green onion pancake. Okay. Haemul pajun. This is the same green onion pancake but with the addition of seafood, squid, mussels, oysters, clams, some calamari rings, okay? Some baby shrimp, chopped up to be a little more manageable. Hamo Pajun, seafood pancake. Last but not least, Kimchi Jun, or Buchimge, okay? Korean green onion pancake with chili peppers, and French hot and spicy andouille sausage. Buchim gay or kimchi jun, my personal favorite. I hope you guys try these pancakes. They're easy to make, they're delicious, they're nutritious, they're high protein, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel and easy cooking blog tonight. I hope you enjoyed the Korean pancakes, pajun, regular pajun, Heimu Pajun, which is a seafood pancake, and Buchim Gay, or Kimchi Jian. I really hope you try these. I know you'll love them. Sorry I've been away for so long, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.